yes welcome friends in this video tutorial we will demonstrate a solution strategy to solve a problem in projection of solids as you can see the question is on your screen so we note that it is uh, on ground resting on with the rectangular faces on ground in the second line it is written now whenever an object is specified to be lying on ground by any way so that simply means we have to make that object in third angle so that is one convention which uh, normally you will see in uh, uh, case of projections of solids so if it is resting on ground so then we have to make it in third co uh, quad quadrant or we have to use the third angle method of projection now here about the dimensions the true dimensions are given for the solid they are base edge it's a triangular prism with, prism with base edge 150 mm and height 200 mm so this height is the height of the solid and uh, the base of the solid is a triangular uh, shape so, and that triangle we can assume to be a regular uh, triangle or the equilateral triangle so here the face is uh, it is resting with the rectangular face on ground so now the rectangular if the rectangular face is on the ground and next is it is inclined at 30 degree to VP so with that 30 degree to VP if we maintain in the beginning itself then we will not be able to get its true shape in any direction so to use the given information about the true shape we will make use of one initial condition so what that initial condition is just see we'll see we make uh, the projection starting with the front view so here in the command prompt i type polygon with three base edges i use the edge command and the rectangular face has to lie over the ground so that is this is the orientation I should make and the edge dimension it is given the fa the base edge is 150 that is how I have chosen six grid spaces as per our scale so it is resting on the ground now with base parallel to the uh, vertical plane in this condition the base is parallel to VP so we see its true shape and based on the true shape of the base we can now draw its uh, this is the front view so it's, it's a top view we can draw so top view in the top view we shall have its height the height of the solid is 200 so that means 8 grid spaces will be the height and it will be in complete alignment with the front view so this is the outer boundary of the top view and we have uh, one more edge visible from the top so this triangular prism when it is lying on the rectangular face on ground from top it will appear like this that is how we have shown and the initial position does not meet the requirement of 30 degree angle that you please see but initial condition why we drew in this initial condition was that the true shape so uh, was given and uh, to utilize this information of the true shape so we we don't have a choice but to consider a position uh, in which a true shape will be there so it is similar to the one which we the way we worked in case of uh, planes now going to uh, to to satisfy the second condition that is the axis to make 30 degree angle what we do you see so here in this position the axis is making 90 degree angle to vp this is top view you have uh, seen it's a top view and uh, in the top view the this is the line which corresponds to the axis which which uh, actually overlaps with the axis 
so here it is making 90 degree so what to do we make a copy of this object with some base edge and we move it here now what we do we rotate this whole thing by how much angle actually this axis at present is making 90 degree so we should rotate it by minus 60 so that this axis will make the required 30 degree angle so we rotate it we will rotate it this is the base point and by how much angle we should rotate minus 60 so we get the required orientation now you see that it is crossing the xy line we should not have it crossed we are not uh, given the real position in top view but that doesn't prevent us from making its apparent shape that is how we make it in the top view now how it will appear in the front view let us see so this is the front base this is the back base the back base uh, part of it will be invisible part of it will be visible so first of all the, the front base will be completely visible so let us make that so for that we need a line from the end of this and up to the ground line so we can use the ortho command to have it very accurately transferred so so from the intersection or the end we can get another line and also we can get line for the top base up to this point so line from this point to the end this one and to the end this one so this makes our front base and about the top faces uh, other edges other edges will be starting from this point so somewhere so somewhere they will end up to which point they will end they will end here from here to here or otherwise so we can simply copy this thing with this as the this intersection as the base point and that uh, same point at the same point we can move it now we know this portion the color will be red so that is what we do so this way our projection of the solid is ready so we'll remove the construction lines delete them and uh, also trim whatever portion of the edges are not visible so this is how your projections will be complete. So thank you.